Welcome back everybody. This is Cliff again. We're still playing patrol. Our adventure patrol. Firefight. Beginning turn six. My second try. Tried this over lunch but I ran into a technical glitch with my computer. Lost that bit but I was only up to the first impulse anyway. So not too much loss. So can't cry over spilt milk. Let's try this again. I noticed last time that when I took my shots with Sergeant Mortel here down into the illuminated area I said no minus three because it's illuminated well technically yes but that's just takes care of the weather not the rain so it should have been weapon skill of six minus one for the order and terrain and minus one for the rain which should have been um, four and it still no big deal our hits were hits so nothing changed we spotted this guy and I've neglected to do a spotting attempt here because this guy had snuck up here so he had sneak in the open so I'm going to give him a chance to spot from the end of turn five before I begin turn six here because I should have done that at the end of turn five before so we got a seven and he was sneaking in the open and when we're nighttime sneaking is another minus two so that's five and sneaking in the open I think is minus one for spotting minus one that's a four and we roll a nine and we curse and we don't spot him so no big deal nothing lost nothing ventured nothing gained turn six we had dropped back somewhat we are trying to regroup and get ready for a counter punch eventually so we've backed off a bit we need to get a hand up and pick our initiative card no leaders may be given the plan order this turn well I normally don't do that anyway pretty crappy initiative Charlie's okay at 42 it's better than average the other two are much worse than average that's our initiative card we need to give orders it is what it is so up here we've got O'Brien who's got a light wound and he fails his morale check so he's shaken we need him to rally so we're gonna rally him and he's in with Private Amos who's our medic and Private Amos is going to use his medical aid on him we're gonna try to get him patched up there we are rally and medical aid so they're not gonna be doing squat all turn long until the end of the turn we need to cover them I don't know what this orange guy is. We got this aggressive guy here with a good TQ and a good weapon skill. Need to keep them at bay. So aim fire, aim fire, aim fire. I really like where we've got Mortel in these woods just outside of illumination firing in here. As this illumination drifts up, we're going to have to drop him back next turn and stay out of that illumination. But for now, aim fire is going to be just fine. We've got this shaken guy here, shaken and bacon. He had a machine pistol. He's scary enough. We put a little hurt on him. Um, Moore's in a position now where he can aim fire. Coop is in the rocks. It's a fine position to aim fire. If he tries to come forward any or moves out into the open, we can get a shot at him. I'm in a field. I'm not so happy about being in a field. It's all the further I could get that turn. If he gets a fire order, he could still put a hurt on me. Or if these guys come out with a run and gun, they could take a shot at me. I'm going to evade. I'm going to try to pop back into these trees and duck back for now. I might throw another flare out. I'm not sure if I can get it far enough out this way. It could end up way over here and be a problem for us. Probably I'm going to wait here 
and try to get these out of the way and then if I can still sprint try to get up here and throw the gr throw a flare out as far as I can this way and have it drift back in I've got one more th flare to throw and down here we've got old school sitting out here in the rocks he's sort of on the rim sort of like a knight in a chess board really off to the edge not so great knights on the rim are dim well a sniper on the rim ain't so great either I'd rather get him up where he can do some more good these guys are not great soldiers I would love to suppress them and then jump on them with melee and try to take them prisoner or kill them in hand to hand because my weapon skill sucks but my TQ is pretty good so I'm looking at melee down the line I'm gonna put an evade on this guy I'm not sure if I'm gonna evade him up here or if I'm gonna evade him over here I'm gonna see what these guys do first all right that's all my orders let's give them their orders All right, let's make it small, get the cards. I'm going to do these five over here first, just to get them out of the way so I don't forget them. So I'm going to do this Jade guy, bold in cover, and bold in cover, evade five. Jade is the same thing as blue. Um, bold in the wall, bold in cover, evade six, five. That's yellow orange, which is the same thing as yellow. Bold in cover in that building. Aim fire. None of these guys are close enough to worry about grenades or anything. Bold in cover in this building. Running gun 6-5. That's a jade guy. We already got a jade. And bold in the open on that road. Running gun 1. already got a jade guy all right that's that now let's go over this side working our way north to south this is a bold in the open evade five six already got that one we got aggressive in cover aim fire and that um, fire brick is the same thing as red. We've got bold in cover here. Evade five, six, grenade charge. One, two, three, four. One, two, th that's not, yeah. Okay, bold in cover. Evade five, six. We already got one of those. Bold in cover over here in these woods. Running gun six. Okay, lavender, bold and cover. These are only lavender. Sneak six five. And lavender is the same thing as white. We've got this shaken in cover. Hide. We already got a red one. In the orchard, we got a bold in cover. Running gun 5 6. Um, already got that. Here we got a bold in cover in the stream. Evade 6 5. We got a bold in cover in the stream. Rapid fire and grenade, too far away for a grenade. Rapid fire is going to be an aim fire because he's got a KAR. And bolding cover in the hedge. Suppressive fire grenade, one, two, three, four, too far for a grenade. Suppressive fire, it's going to be slow suppressive fire because he's got a KAR. Yes, he does. Slow suppressive fire. And. I think I got them all. 
let's see what we got for initiative. My best is 42. Well, that's better than a lot of them. And after that, I got a 70, which is still better than a lot of them. My 84 is not, though. So my 42, it goes Firebrick, Charlie, Baker. Firebrick, Charlie, Baker. And then we finish off with about an 84. Um, Jade, Abel, Yellow Orange, Lavender. Jade, Abel, Yellow Orange, Lavender. There we go. Firebrick and Charlie Baker. Impulse 1 is no sneak, no firing. Firebrick, Charlie Baker. Firebrick. Aim fire. Too, too far to spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it's like 8 away. Firebrick, done. Firebrick hiding. Nobody to spot. Nobody can't spot him. Um, Firebrick aim fire. Nobody to spot. Okay, Firebrick. Charlie Baker. Charlie Baker. Charlie. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can't see here. If I run forward, I can get him up in trouble if I'm not careful. These guys are sitting still. I'm going to work my way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's out of sight because of visibility. We'll work him into this field and try to get better firing position. I don't want to be stupid. I'm stupid enough. Charlie. Charlie. We've got an evade here. And I'm going to duck back. I like that position. Baker, Baker, boys. I've got a Abel there. I've got a Charlie here. He's got a name fire. Spotted already. Take another shot at spotting across here. That's all he can do. There's nobody else. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's evading in the open. Seven. Evading in the open. Evading in the open is plus one, eight. Anything but a nine. Four. And we spot him. A dummy. Remove. And he's done. Baker. Up here, these guys are both going to be done. Because they're doing their thing. Baker boys. Aim fire, nothing to spot. He's done. Down here, my Baker boys. Got an aim fire, nothing to spot. Aim fire, nothing to spot. Jade, and then Abel. Jades are all over here. Should be three of them. Evading five. Run and gun six, and run and gun one. Then Abel's. I think I already did an Abel up here. Yep, I have one more Abel right down here. Aim fire, and he's got nobody to spot. All right, and then yellow, orange, and lavender. Do these yellow oranges far over here? 
We've got an evade six and an aim fire. That's all of them. Now these guys, yellow oranges, evades five into the building and has no LOS to anybody. Running gun six, no LOS to anybody. Running gun five. Um, he spotted one, two, three, four, five, six. He could try to spot him. So he's got a four. No, he's got a five, sorry. TQ of five. Zero for the range of six. Aim fire in rocks. Minus three. Five minus three is two. Three does not see him. Can he spot anybody else? No. More oranges. Yellow orange evade six. Slow suppress. Can't do anything this impulse. Has no LOS anyway. And then I think it's just Lavender left. And Lavender's got a sneak, which doesn't do anything this impulse. Anybody not got a move marker on him? I think I got them all. That's impulse one. Impulse two is sneaking and firing. Firebrick Charlie Baker. Firebrick from the top. Aim, fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, too far. That's blocked by the hedge. He's got no LOS. He's done. Fire bricks. He's hiding. Fire bricks. Aim, fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No visibility. Nobody to spot. That is fire brick. Charlie and Baker. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's still out of sight there. This is a Charlie. Goes back to a hide. Hiding in the trees now. Baker Baker boys. I've got an Abel here. I've got a Charlie here with an aim fire. Okay, where do we want to shoot? What do we have? Do we have anything? Yeah, that's a shadow. I can see that at a range of five. He's got a rifle. And this is a range of six. But he's already hiding and not doing anything. This guy's evading. We could try to stop him cold in the light here. I like this shot better. He's evading in a building or hiding in a hedge. Let's see what the difference is. Evading in a building is minus three. Hiding in a hedge is minus three. So it's minus three or minus three. I think I'll take minus three. Just saying. The higher priority target is the unwounded guy with a higher TQ. He is a six. Heavy rain gives us minus one. The night does not affect us. So six, five, two, three shots for two. Here we go. One, seven, one. Two hits. Way to go, Mortel. You are the man. Pay attention, the rest of you. You should shoot like Mortel. Bad wound. 
bad wound. Damn. He's not to be messed with. He kills him. Two bad wounds is six. And this boy is toast. Enter kills. KIA equals one. Ross, you are the man. And this goes down two. We've shown about three or four dummies now, and we finally killed one and winged one. Ross fired. This is impulse two. We're doing Charlie's. Um, that's another. There's a Charlie up here. These guys are done. Now it's Baker's turn. This is an Abel. Let's see, we got a Baker up here, but he doesn't have LOS to anything. He's just on Overwatch. Down here, um, I don't think this guy's got an LOS. Pretty sure that hedge takes him out. See, it goes right through it. And there's nothing up in the open spot yet. So he's just on Overwatch. Um, this d doesn't have a shot at the hiding guy, but he can shoot at this running gun over here if the range is right. Six, just visible. So our BAR, our Browning here with Coop, is going to fire at this running gun in the orchard. So we've got a weapon skill of five. Minus one for the rain is four. Illuminated. And he's running and gunning in an orchard. Running and gunning in an orchard is minus one, which is Five, four, three. Two shots for three. And all he's got is a knife skill. Low ammo. He doesn't have a lucky. No luck. Two. So a low ammo and a hit. All righty. Let's see what Coop did besides blowing through a bunch of ammo here. Let's get up our hand. Close call. Doggone it. It's not going to do much against these guys. He's a five. <laughs> He's happy about it. He actually goes up one. He's just... Oh, my God. Well, I did kill one. What am I complaining about? Alrighty. That's Baker Baker. Baker Baker. We shall see what they do. Okay, Jade. Then Abel. All the Jades are far over here yet. Jade 5. Evade. Running gun one, running gun five this time. They're working their way up. Now my Abel's. One Abel's already taken care of here. I've got a name fire here. And the only person he can see, one, two, three, four, five. I think he's out of range. I think that's seven. Yeah, that's seven. Can't take that shot. Nobody closer. Abel's out. Yellow, orange, and lavender. Let's start with these yellow oranges over here to the right. He's evading five. He's aim firing. Now let's get the rest of them. Running gun six here. Can't see anybody, so he runs. Evading six, five. 
running gun. Does he have anybody within six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So we've got aim fire in rocks or hiding in trees, which are about equal distance, so which is an easier shot. Aim fire in rocks is a minus two, or hiding in trees, minus four. So aim fire in rocks is much easier, so that's a minus two. So he's a four, five six for being aggressive, because we helped him out. Five four, taking off for run and gun. Three two one for the weather and the rain. Zero minus one for being firing in the rocks. So he needs a zero and a four, and he gets three shots, I believe, with that assault rifle. At a range of six, that assault rifle is a zero, and he gets three shots. Six, one, four. Misses. I hate those assault rifles. Hate them, hate them. Not as much as I hate MG42s. I know, I bitch. Uh, this guy's too far away. I was careful to maintain that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I'm out of range. And then our little sneak six. Gotta love our little lavender SS guy there. Only one of them left. All right, that's impulse two. Impulse three, non-shooting, non-sneaking. Fire brick, Charlie Baker. Fire brick. All right, where are our fire bricks? Aim fire, not doing anything this time. He's not spotting anybody. Hiding is still hiding. He can't do anything. And aim fire, can't see anybody. Charlie. Where do I want to put this Charlie here? I want to bring him up into these trees with the idea of putting down extra firepower against these guys emerging from the trees into the open. They're not going to be illuminated much longer. That might be a bad choice. I can always step back. I might rethink that later. Hiding is done. There's no spotting to be done. Baker Baker boys. That's an able. Charlie hears nobody to spot. Yes, there is. One, two, three, four. That's plus one. Seven plus one. Running gun in the tree. I think it's a zero for spotting. Zero. Eight. Anything but a nine. Nine. <laughs> I said anything but a nine. Doesn't spot him. We'll know soon enough. And you got a Charlie up here helping out Abel still. Okay. Um Baker. Too far away. Um no LOS to anybody. This guy shot. So he is spotted now. That's Baker. Um, Jade then able. Jades are all over here. 
evading five, running gun one, running gun six. Now Abel's, I already did this Abel. This Abel's named Fire, too far away to spot him. One, two, three, four, yeah, too far away. Then it's just yellow orange and then lavender. All right, yellow orange is over here first, evading six, five. This is three, so six, and name fire. Impulse three, run and gun. Well, it's got to run this time. Yep, so he's going to go six. That's going to help us a little, to spot him at least. Though he's getting close now. Don't like that. Wish I could get him off me. Well, it is what it is. Continue. Running gun, we're running five. We're evading six. There's nobody for this guy to spot. These guys are all spotted now. Slow suppress. Nothing this impulse. It's impulse three. And then our one lavender guy doesn't do anything with a sneak this impulse. I don't think I've missed anybody. Looks like I've got moves on all of them. This is getting in the way. Gotta move this. There. That's impulse three. Last impulse and we will be halfway done. Fire brick, Charlie Baker. Firing impulse, sneaking impulse. Fire brick. And fire cannot do anything because they're all out of range and blocked LOS. Hiding does nothing. There's nobody to spot. Aim fire has no targets. Charlie he is hiding here. And where do I want to be with my sniper? If I duck back in trees, is that a minus two? Yes. So if I duck back in trees, he's a four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, minus one, three shots for help with a zero, taking our chances and ducking back. You got to take some chances in life. I like those odds as well as any. I'll probably pay for it. I'll probably pay for it. Okay. Doing my Charlies. That's an Abel. This is a Charlie. He can fire, but I don't have anybody with LOS except one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy hiding. So he's my best shot. I can't shoot at him. He's not spotted. So we'll shoot first. So he's a six, five, hiding in a hedge. I think was minus three. Hiding in a hedge is minus three. So six, five, four, three, two. Three shots for two. Hits, misses, hits. Ross, you are a stud. With the zero, we get a light wound. So he goes up one morale. And he gets a bad wound. So that's minus four to go along with his minus one is minus five. He kills him. So first of all, he becomes bold. 
because he hit with a zero. Then we get to change his kills to KIA equals two. This guy, delete, 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 KIA. And we go to our confidence tracker and we bump it down to more. 15, 14. The professor is ruling the house today. Two KIAs in this turn. That flare was a good idea, it turned out. They don't usually turn out for me for some reason. They drift and do strange things and they illuminate my guys. I usually hesitate to do it. These guys are still busy. Now it's Baker. He's got no shot. He's just on Overwatch. He's got no shot on Overwatch. He's... Oh yeah, I forgot. And he could try to spot. Let's finish up with Ross here. He's got to try to spot this guy. Seven, eight for distance because he's within four. And he is running gun in the trees is a zero. Running gun in the trees is a zero. Anything but a nine. One. He spots him this time. And, well, he's a soldier. He's not got great rifle skill, but he's got a good TQ and he's in close. Fortunately, we're outside illumination. I guess he's our next target. All right, so he did spot him. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, this guy, Baker. He's taking his shot with his BAR Coop, who's low on ammo. He's going to, this is Impulse 4, take his second shot at him. Range of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a 0. Weapon skill of 5. Minus 1 for the rain is 4. Running gun in an orchard. In an orchard is one. So that makes it three. Five, four, three. Two shots for three. He's out of ammo. Yeah. He's cursing. And not very good there, Coop, with your um management of ammunition. There's time to reload. You're in the rocks. Reloading in the rocks is not the end of the world. They're too far away to charge you. It's okay. You'll do better next time. It's just that we're going to lose our illumination. I'm going to have to probably think about popping a second flare to follow up with that one. Probably wouldn't work out as well the second time. Tempting fate. Jade. Evading five. He takes the church. She's in the abs and yeah, running gun one straight north and we'll put him on the bottom of the stack and pop that stack open and running gun five going down there coming on through the buildings that's jade ables already did one able up in this stack my other able here is an aim fire Range is six, but I think that hedge is in the way. Yeah, I'm going to say that hedge there is blocking me. So that's not a shot either way. Reciprocal LOS. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Blocked. That's all my guys. Finish out their guys for Impulse 4. Yellow, orange, and then our lavender guy. Yellow, orange from the far side here. We've got an evade 5 on top into the shell holes. 
and a name fire not doing anything. The rest of the yellow oranges. This is a firing impulse. We've got a running gun here. Firing back at Mortel. One, two, three is a plus one. Four plus one is five. Plus one is six for bold. Minus three for the weather. Minus two for aim. No, minus three. He's in a building. He's in a building. So he's got four, five, six. Minus three is three. Aim fire in a building. I think it's minus three. No, it's minus two. Zero or one. He only gets one shot. A zero. Blast it. Close call. Morale check. <sighs> morale check. Six passes. Since he passed and it's a morale check, he does not go up a morale. No effect. <sighs> Too freaking close. We need to put this guy down sooner rather than later. All right. Evading. Six five. Running gun. He's got no targets. Does yes, he does too. He does too. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Closest is here. In the rocks here. He's out of ammo. He's gonna be ducking back. Duck back in rocks. We got duck back or Hide. Duck back here in the trees. Minus two. Duck back in rocks. Um, duck back in rocks is minus two. And hide in trees. It's a minus four. So he's not going to shoot at minus four. So he's either going to do duck back in rocks or he's going to do duck back in trees. One, two, three, he's going to go for coop. Four, five, six, he's going to go for old school. He's going for coop. Four, five, six, five, four, three for weather. Two, one for run and gun. Zero minus one for the terrain in order. Three shots for a zero and four. Six, three, one. Whew. I do not like that. Assault rifle. Slow suppress. Add evades already moved. And our sneak gets to go five this time into the open. He doesn't see anybody, so he's going to sneak into the open. That's everybody. All right. Turn. Impulse is going to go to one. We're going to clear these guys off. We're going to go to turn seven. We're going to roll for mud. So first the roll for mud. No mud. Now we're going to roll for reinforcements. Seven. There are reinforcements. So I'm just going to drag these down here. I'm going to bring those reinforcements on in a second. Now, the flare, does it sputter out? No. So we've got to drift our flare. One this way. This guy falls out of the illumination. we still got this guy in the illumination. Maybe these guys will enter. Maybe he'll run up there. 
I don't know. So we're going to have to deal with these guys on the southern flank here. we got five guys down on the southern flank faced off with three of our guys. Four of our guys. All right. Three of them are spotted. Two are not spotted. Okay, what else do we have to do? We have to remove the moves and remove the orders before I give my new orders to my new guys. And we have new reinforcements coming on. Let me get the book out. Scenario. Fall back. Firefight. Reinforcements. Reinforcements Firefight 2. 34, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that will be under enemy characters here. 34, 6. Seven. Come on, stop it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we got more lavenders and yet more yellow oranges. I'm going to take their moves off. I'm going to make them bold. And I've got to give them their orders. So the top guy is going to let's get the table here. There it is. Roll. Seven. Sprint six five. Next guy rolls a nine, which is a run and gun six. Come on, I had you selected. Run and gun six. Next guy, say one, evade six. Got to keep focusing back. Evade. Six. Next guy is a one, which is an evade six. Next guy is a seven, which is a sprint six five. There. Now let's take all our moves off. That's their orders. That brings them up five on the confidence tracker. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know, one, two, one, two, yep. Half of 23 is 11 minus one is 10. Half of 10 is five. There we are. Our confidence tracker is reset. That is all the reinforcements they're going to get unless we get a special random enemy event. They can get reinforcements that way yet. Option T. Our turn there. We can get rid of this guy now. Remove that. We're on turn 7. We're halfway done. We've killed two. Knocked them back a little bit. We've the one that we dinged is dead. So we don't have anybody ding, but we got some people spotted. We've gotten rid of about four dummies. They've gotten two doses of reinforcements. We're still holding they're at fifteen here. So they're right up to where we want to hold at. We're just going to try to hold Pat where we are. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. I may have to withdraw these guys if we get too much pressure here. Uh, I would love to put an aim fire and try to drop a flare down here to try to eliminate this patch so that I can pull back to this hedge and fight the battle over this opening rather than in here where it's close and tight. I don't like it. 
I must be cautious. The thing is, we're within four and he could charge me. And he's got that dang assault rifle. It's probably time to pull back. Pull back away, out of line of sight, and back off to the hedge. It's, we shall see. We shall see what kind of initiative I get next time. I'm blathering on again. I do that. That is the challenges of having a professor doing this for you. All right. Not a bad turn. Ross, you are a bad boy. If all the guys shot like you, this would already be done. I will talk to you guys next time.